chances are that if you're watching this video, you're going to be leasing a property from us real soon. So the most important thing that you need to know, we're going to go over here on this uh, video. The first thing that we're going to talk about are the duties that are owed by a Nevada real estate licensee. Every real estate transaction in which a real estate agent is involved, he needs to disclose to the, all of the parties in the transaction who he represents or who his company represents. For the purpose of this lease, we represent the owner of the property in which you're going to lease. Even though we represent the owner, it doesn't mean that we do not owe duties to you. We can't treat you in a manner that's deceitful, fraudulent, or dishonest. We have to disclose to you any material or relevant facts about the property. We need to disclose uh, all parties from which we receive compensation. There's a duties owed form that you're going to be signing. Maybe you've already seen it. If you had a realtor show you the property, he should have went over this form with you. But we represent the owner of the property exclusively. Now for things that you need to know about your lease. The things that you need to know about the lease that are most important are that it's a legally binding document and it's going to be uh, binding on you and God forbid something happens to you, it'll be legally binding on your heirs. The terms of the lease. The lease is going to be for 12 months and the rent is going to be due on the first of the month. There is no mandated grace period in the state of Nevada. So your lease uh, includes a $10 per day late fee charge if it's not in our office on the first. On the second day of the month, it's going to be the rent plus $10. On the third day of the month, it'll be another $10. On the fourth day of the month, another $10. And then, fourth day of the month, we'll file a notice. Constable will be coming out to the property and posting a notice on the door, giving you five days to pay the rent, move from the property. And we'll be adding a $75 charge for preparation of the notice and the delivery of it to you. Most importantly is once the rent is late, once the notice has been served, we can refuse to accept the rent if it doesn't include the full amount of money that's owed. Rent can be paid online via our tenant portal off of our website. And you can do that with a debit card, credit card, or with a check from your checking account. You can also pay your rent in cash at a 7-Eleven. Rent can be paid in our office during normal business hours. It's important for you to note that we're not open on the weekend. If the first of the month falls on the weekend or falls on a holiday, that doesn't mean that the rent's still not due on the first of the month. Second thing that's uh, an important item of the lease is that only the tenants that are named in the lease may occupy the property. You can, of course, have guests come and stay with you. And a guest is defined as anyone who comes to stay for 14 days or less in any six month period. Pets. Pets may or may not be allowed in the property. Unauthorized pets are a lease violation and they are grounds for termination of the lease. Let us know if you have a pet and get approval beforehand. Satellite dishes. If you plan on using a satellite dish at your property that you're leasing from us, then we need to know that in advance too. Well, there's rules about satellite dishes. We don't want to have a satellite dish attached to the property. We don't want it on the roof of the house. We don't want it on the eaves of the house at your property, you probably have that approved by a homeowners association prior to allowing you to install a dish. It's going to need to be installed on a tripod. Any holes that are put into the house to support the cables and the wiring of the rooms are going to be yours to repair when the lease is over. And we may require a satellite dish deposit. Maintenance requests that you're going to have when you live in the house all maintenance requests need to be in writing. The best way to request maintenance at your property is to use the tenant portal provided off of our webpage. Tenant portal maintenance request is monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. After we review that work order, if it's an emergency, personnel will be dispatched to your property. They'll be in contact with you. If it's routine maintenance, it'll be scheduled on the next business day. Phone calls are not an acceptable means to request maintenance. Um, there's just no way to um, document the phone call. Even if it's Christmas day and you've got a flood situation in your property, work request is gonna be the fastest way to notify anybody. Another item that's uh, very important is, is in order to rent a house through us, is we would require you to have uh, 
tenant liability insurance on the property. In the state of Nevada, no one can force you to buy insurance on your own belongings. However, we can require that you carry tenant liability insurance. If you don't want to buy the renter's insurance, then we're going to enroll you in our insurance on the property. Tenant liability insurance program, it's going to cover up to $100,000 worth of liability, and it has $100 deductible. And it'll cover the issues that we care about in the property, such as the kitchen that's on fire or the sewer that's backing up. It'll cover those repairs. However, it won't take care of any of your goods. Another item is smoking. There is no smoking allowed in the premises that we lease to you. You can't smoke a pipe, you don't smoke a cigar, no cigarette smoking in there. And if you choose to smoke in the house, then when you leave the house, we're gonna consider the damage that's done by the cigarette smoke to be beyond normal wear. It's not gonna be covered by the landlord, it's gonna be covered by you. So we'll be spending money to clean the air conditioning ducts, repainting the walls, maybe replacing the carpet if we can't get the smell of the cigarette smoke out of the house. If you're a smoker and you rent one of our properties, plan on smoking outside and not in our house. This video does not cover every item in the lease. We'll want you to completely read the lease. If you have any questions, let us know before you sign the lease. I would encourage you to have a lawyer look at any legally binding document before you sign it. Thanks. I think you'll make a wonderful addition to the Blackbird family of uh, renters, and we look forward to serving you.